With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Let us discuss the given problem. We have to evaluate the value of mean, mode and median using the above data when we know the number of workers, the daily income of the workers and the total daily income of 50 workers right so first of all we are going to arrange the data in a tabular form and then we can easily calculate the value of mean median and mode so first of all writing the values so first is first class is 100 to 120 next class is 120 240 another class is 140 260 next class is 160 280 and the last class is 180 to 200 right now we have arranged these classes now we have to write the number of workers so first case is having 12 workers next is 14 8 6 and 10 now we have to write the value of xi now first of all we need to understand that what is the concept of xi xi is basically the mean value of our class what is the mean value of our class let us say this is our class that is 100 to 120 so we can easily say that the mean value for these values is 110 right so for the next class similarly we can calculate the value of xi and that will be 130 right so we can calculate the values of xi for these respective three classes that is 150 170 and 190 now we have to calculate the value of xi fi we know the value of xi and this is fi so we have to multiply xi fi respectively for a given class so that we obtain the value of xi fi when we multiply 12 into 110 we obtain 1320 similarly the value of this is obtained as 1820 the next product is 1200 the next product is 1020 and the last product is obtained as 1900 right now in the last step we have to write the value of cumulative frequency now you might be wondering that what is cumulative frequency cumulative frequency is just the sum of frequency for the class and the preceding classes so for the first class the frequency and cumulative frequency are going to be same and that is 12 but in the next class we are going to add the frequency of this class and the preceding class also so we have obtained 14 plus 12 as 26 for next it would be 26 plus 8 and that is equivalent to 34 next is 34 plus 6 that is equals to 40 and last is 40 plus 10 that is equals to 50 so now we have accumulated all the data which we require for calculating the mean mode and median right now first of all we are calculating here the mean then mean is given by summation of x i f i divided by summation this is summation of f i right now we are going to just write the values of summation x i f i and that is obtained by sum of this 1320 plus 1820 plus 21200 plus 1020 and 1900 so that is equals to 7260 right so this is 7260 so this is 7260 and summation fi that is this is is equals to 50 so when we divide these two values we obtain the mean as 145.2 so the answer for the given data as the mean is 145.2 now we are going to solve for median now for that we are going to use a formula so first of all writing the formula here so median which is given by L that is the lower limit plus n upon 2 n is the total number of frequencies minus CF CF here is the cumulative frequency and this should be multiplied with H H is basically the height of our class and this is divided by F right so when we put the values in this formula we obtain the value of median so first of all l that is equals to 120 
plus n by 2 n is 50 that should be divided by 2 minus cumulative frequency that is 12 and this should be divided by the frequency of that given class 14 and this should be multiplied with h that is equals to 20 that is the height of the class now you might be wondering that where this 120 50 and 12 and 20 and 14 came from so it's very simple because we know that our frequency our frequency is basically this one that is 12 14 8 and 6 and 10 right so we can clearly see that the median would be from this frequency right this class only so we have considered this class and the values of frequencies that came from here right now we have put the value of cfs 12 because according to the formula the cumulative frequency is taken for the preceding class so our model class is this one so our preceding class is this one that's why we have taken the value of cfs 12 right so after substituting the values in this we obtain the value of median and the value of median is obtained as 138.6 right so finally the answer of median is 138.6 now we have to solve for the mode of this data so first of all this is 138.6 now we have to solve for the mode of this data now how can we write we how can we calculate the mode of a given data so to calculate that we just need to use one formula and that formula is basically mode so mode is given by l plus of f minus f1 what is f here and what is f1 here that is described uh, this is divided by 2f and this is minus of f1 minus of f2 right so we have obtained this formula and this should be multiplied by h now the question arises that what is l again l is the lower limit of our class that is 120 now what is the frequency this is the frequency for the given class and that is equivalent to 14 f1 is the frequency for the preceding class that is equals to 12 again 2 multiplied by f that is 14 minus f1 that is frequency for the preceding class and f2 that is frequency for the succeeding class that is equal to 8 and now finally this should be multiplied with h that is the height of the class that is equal to 20 right now by substituting the values and solving this further we obtain the value of mode as 125 so this is the way of calculating the mean mode and median for the given data for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today